this video is a very special one in fact this video is the very first time i'm sharing a pdf content for my subscribers viewers everyone the title of this video as it says is the secret of trading the first pullback right in fact it's actually a pdf that i came across that teaches price action you guys know that i am a price action trader and then anytime i come across a price action content that i feel like would add value to my people to my subscribers to my channel subscribers my people in my trading community then i want to share it with you guys so that you guys can actually learn and then improve your trading life as well or trading journey as well right so yeah coming across this book which delved deeply into you know the pullback strategy everything to do with pullback i went through it analyzed it learned from it used it far often than not truth be told as and when i came across this book most of the things in there i knew it most of the stuffs in there i've also shared it with you guys on my community shared it with you guys on my youtube channel over and over but it, it, it goes a long way to help you if you have a pdf format of it where you can always go back and then read into more understanding as well as couple it with, with with trading videos and content that i have on youtube as well so the, the, the style of this video is a very different one something i've not really done before i'm going to quickly skim through the pages of this book related to real trading life real trading scenarios and explain to you guys what i think about some of these concepts and then how you can apply it in real life scenario on the market we're going to flip through trading view as well and then see how we can you know adjust the whole concept of this right so we're going to not really go deeply into reading all the stuff here we're just going to look straight into the patterns the pullback patterns and then how we can improve our trading life or trading strategies inculcating these pullbacks into it yeah so guys like i said we're just going to quickly skim through this and then see what we can learn from this right so quickly skimming skimming through this we're gonna we're not really gonna waste much time on the nitty gritties or the unnecessary data right that one you can read it when i send the book to you right in fact if you can get access to this book which i'm going to put into my community then it means that you have to click in the link in the description to join the Kojo first community i'm going to post this book right after uploading it on the youtube channel as well right so here i'm not going to talk about here right this is just an intro into you understanding the whole concept of pullback right now here i can understand that this book is basically telling you that for you to get a whole nature of pullback you must understand market structure so it's talking about higher high high low formation lower high lower low formations right and then it's also talking about the cycles in which market goes through right you can see that we have all the uptrend the downtrend and we have the consolidation or sideways market right so here we are depicting basically the sideways market and then pullbacks happen in all of them it can be uptrend pullback happening in uptrend right where the market is making higher high high low formation there are continuous pullbacks right there's a pullback there's also a pullback there's also a pullback and in a downtrend we have lower high lower low formation right now this is also a pullback this is also a pullback and then this is also a pullback and we have sideways right where the market is just going up coming down consolidation market now you can call this a pullback a pullback pullback pull back pull back but with understanding that you're going to have after reading through this book i believe you're going to have the knowledge to understand exactly when to jump in on those pullback right like i said this is just a brief run through with you guys on this pdf so that you can learn so some people may want to apply some moving average right in being able to use that as an adjustment to find in the pullbacks right it helps that's if your moving average is one of a powerful one right so you can see here the market is just trending up or this person just puts the moving average on it the moving average just serves as a dynamic support right if it's a downtrend then it's a dynamic resistance so like if the market is coming down like this and then the moving average is just crossing through it like that dynamic resistance is that here it falls here it bounces off it falls here it bounces off it falls and then dynamic support here you can see that it's just going up so here it bounces off it goes up here it bounces off it goes up here it bounces off it goes up so yeah moving average it serves as dynamic support and resistance right that's the idea you want to think about it Gone are the days where I was so deeply involved in moving averages days I hardly even use it on my chart. So here we're talking about single and multiple pullbacks. We're not even going to go deeply into that, right? Let's keep. This is like a fib, sort of a pullback, right? If you watch this, basically we can see that what the market is already in an uptrend, right? Now with this uptrend, this is like the pullback. Here you can use Fibonacci. It could fall into the 50 percent, 6.8 retracement. Then you take your trade entry for a buy in continuation of that uptrend. So number one, you have to already identify the trend of the market. Is it an uptrend? Is it a downtrend? Before you can apply such a thing, right? So if you haven't also watched my Fibonacci videos, then it's not going to help you in understanding this video. Go 
down into my video scroll and watch my fibonacci video and then you can understand the fib aspect of this so yeah you can apply the same concept in the real market scenarios as well right if you look at a trade like um XA USD already we can identify that is in an uptrend so what is big market is basically then that upon any pullback if you're going in the direction of the market it's going to go a long way to help you if you take this as the inception of this swing move the end you can assess this as what a pullback and what a massive continuation on the upside right this one is very interesting one here it talks about it talks about chart patterns right i've also done a whole video on chart patterns right if you look into the video the one that says what the trading strategy that tends me from broke to a millionaire in fact it is actually very true right chart patterns played a major role in my early years of trading right i started actually mastering all the chart patterns head and shoulder head and shoulder invest rising wedge falling wedge you know and this is exactly this they all fall under pullback right so if you think about he head and shoulder right we have the left shoulder the head and then the right shoulder right now the left shoulder already you can see that it may not necessarily be in any form of a trend right whether uptrend downtrend but you can see that here is a pullback here is also a pullback now in trading if you have the left shoulder the head and then you can already identify this resistance then you can pre-anticipate that the market can trade into the right shoulder here which is a pullback and then you find a continuation on the downside right but we're going to get into it when we talk about the head and shoulder one in this video right now you can see here we have what the rising wedge falling wedge right you can see that they all fall under the pullback so the market is trading downwards it creates a rising wedge the pullback entry is here the continuation comes down the market is trading upwards the falling wedge is here pullback entry continuation this is a sideways flag pattern right and then breaks of the strap so most people would like to jump in on that break of that flag pattern trading on the downside and make money some people also want to jump in at the right top based on their candlestick confirmations and then you know make that move on the downside so yeah that is also something that i apply in fact this book this book is a very 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 good book that's why i'm using it to do this type of video and then, like i said it's the first time that i'm sharing such a free content for my channel subscribers and i hope it goes along with to help you we've talked about this one it's the same kind of the wedge pattern this one is a triangle pattern there's a there's a ascending triangle and then we have a descending one here and then this is also um a widening wedge they all form part of that pullback right so you want to take your time really digest this whole content go through it and understand how you can you know inculcate that in understanding you know pullbacks and finding trades i actually love pullbacks right i actually really love pullbacks in the market in fact they are they, they are also like one of the very strong bases i use in finding most of my sniper entries especially inculcating support resistance in confluence with fibonacci and the market structure to find pullback trades right so i'm going to end this video here and then like i said tag you guys with a with a pdf in my community so if you're not in the community click in the link in the description to join the Kojo forest community to be able to get access to this pdf and then it can go a long way to help you in understanding the pullback and how to use it and finding trade entries if you enjoyed this video and you want me to do more of this smash the like button also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that without wasting my time i hope you guys enjoy this content and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out